What is up guys, this is Joshua Let and Iron. Today's video is a fine, fine microphone, the K688. It is a dynamic microphone, which could be used with XLR or as a USB microphone. As you can see, it is marketed as a podcast mic, though I'm sure that you can use it for streaming, stuff like that. The box shows that it's a black microphone, but I think Fine Fine sent over the white microphone. Thank you, Fine Fine, for sending this over. Let's find out what's in this box. So we have a user guide, a little bit of padding to get by. Oh, that looks sharp. Okay, this looks really nice. They have a 3 8 to 5 8 adapter for a boom arm. I don't think my boom arm has either of these, but we'll have to find out. Where is a USB-A 2.0 to USB-C. Looks like a pretty long USB cord, so that's great. And here we have the Fine Fine microphone. So it looks sharp. It looks really sharp. I like this white. Uh, you can see it kind of has like a little bit of a pearl in it. It's really nice. It's a very nice microphone. As I said, you can use this XLR or USB-C. And this is surprising. They have a 3.5 millimeter port so you can monitor yourself as you use this microphone. That is a great feature. If you guys have never had a microphone where you can monitor and adjust on the fly, it's great. And you also have controls that control your headset and the gain for how loud you want it. There is also a mute button up top. It feels like it's well built. These are plastic, but it feels it feels nice. The white looks great. Let's take a peek in. That is the microphone. I don't know if you guys can see that clearly, but this focal point's right here. But that looks sharp. This is the Fine Finds K688 microphone. This looks like a podcasting microphone. It is suspended. It's supposed to help with noise reduction is if you like bump or tap your mic. I think this would look great in any setup. So what we're going to do is we'll head over to my setup. We'll set this up and that way you guys can see what it sounds like. I'll see you over there. So now we have the K688. It's connected to my PC through the SC3. This is no filters, nothing added to it. This is just out of the box how it sounds. The only gripe I really have with this is that they sent over this adapter for a boom arm or for a stand, and I did not have anything that fit that. I had to buy my own. I mean, it was a few, it was a few dollars. It's no big deal. That was the only way I was able to connect it to my boom arm. I used this on stream. I actually changed it out on one of my videos. I'll actually show you that clip right here where I changed out my microphone live on stream and plugged it in. Didn't have a chance to, you know, do anything, just plug it in, play the game. That way you guys could see what it really sounds like just out of the box. Let's see if that works. I'm gonna monitor myself real quick as well. See what this sounds like. And also what it sounds like on stream. Also, this microphone is a fine, fine K688. They did send this over so I could test it out and review it. And hopefully, hopefully it sounds really good. A lot of the stream last kind of like in between. It sounded really good. So let's find out. Do a stream with this. And it'll probably, majority of it will probably show up in a video of the review. Because whether it's on stream or whether you're going to do podcasts, because this is marketed for podcasters that are doing a podcast and just want that crisp clear audio this is that microphone for you and i think this is a really decent sounding microphone it's not i would say it's like a, a priced mid-range i'll put the price right up around here but that's what it was so you can connect this through xlr that i have through my sc3 or you have a type c connection that you could use i did run a Fine, fine microphone for a while. They make 
amazing products. They sound great. So it connects Type-C in the back of the microphone, which is right here, which is your Type-C. And then on the other end, it's USB, looks like 2.0 Type-A. And you just connect that to the back of your microphone and you don't need to have an XLR. You have the option to have an XLR, but it's not needed to run this microphone. What I also like about this microphone, and there's not a lot of microphones that come like this, is I'm gonna raise this up a little bit. You have a headphone dial so you can hear and monitor yourself. If you plug in your headphone to the back of this microphone, you can adjust the volume that you're hearing in your ear. And it actually has a gain knob that you can change the gain on the microphone itself. I think I, th I really think Fine Fine does a very good job at providing very affordable microphones and you get great quality sound out of them. And it's not, you know, super expensive. You can still, as you can see, microphone comes up at the top here. You have a little foam cover, but very well made. Yes, the, the, the outer is plastic. I haven't heard anything bad about this. It is suspended, so if you do like move it around, it's not supposed to make any noise and stuff. Those are great features, but normally, I don't know, I don't know if you guys have ever like seen, like when you see podcasts, you don't notice them like messing with their microphone a lot or anything like that. So there are some times that though, when I'm streaming, I, you know, move my mic or, you know, readjust it. It doesn't happen very often. So I don't necessarily, after I mount my mic and stuff and put it where I want it, I normally don't touch my mic. I can bump my mic here and there, maybe have bumped my mic like two or three times. They do have this white version. I think this white version looks really good. I wish I would have had the SC3 in white so I could show you that it, you know, they would match and stuff like that. But they also have the microphone in black and I opted for the white version just so you guys could see like a different, they, they do offer like a different color. It looks really good. I think that the video is is representing how it actually looks in real life as well. It's a It's a good looking microphone. Fine Fine did send this over. They wanted me to review it. I reviewed it on stream to show, to give a sneak peek on what it was going to sound like because it did come out. Actually, it came out pretty good. The way I heard it when I was listening to my own stream, I was very surprised that it sounded this good. I am one of those people that have used a lot of mics, as you can see, like in the reviews of my videos. And I'm not, I wouldn't say like I'm a professional or anything like that. I not like an audiophile or I wouldn't even consider myself that, but I do respect and, and like good sounding products and I will review and post good sounding products, especially if it's something that's very affordable and it's going to sound good as soon as you plug it in. I've said in my other videos that I make these videos. So when you, if you get these products and you buy them, and you plug it in, I want you to tell me that it's exactly the way that I explained it or the exact same way that you heard it on my, on my end. I don't touch up or put filters on any of the mics that I use. It's just for me, if it's going to sound clean and it's going to sound good, that's what it's going to sound like. But I don't put any like filters on here at all. Like there's no filters in my OBS. As you see, there's no audio filters on here. There's no compressor, expander, no gain. There's nothing that I've put on here because I I want to represent what the mic sounds like. I don't want to give you guys false impressions. I mean, there are ways that you can get like a less quality microphone and make it sound good. Well, make it sound decent. You can put all these filters on it, whatnot. I would rather just have a microphone that sounds good right out of the box, pay a little bit extra but it's going to be what you want and it's going to sound good. You don't have to be like an audio wizard to try to get this to work and sound good. I think Fine Pine makes some great products. They have, I have their headset. I have their SC3. I have this microphone. I have the AM8 microphone that I use for a long time and they sound, they sound great. I've used them in my streams. I've used them in videos. I've used them with my iPhone. I'm sure I could use this one with my iPhone as well. And they just, they do a great job. They're not, you know, super expensive to where they're 
out of reach for a lot of people. I would say this is reasonably priced, especially for what you get. To get a microphone that you can monitor straight out of the bottom, you don't need anything else to monitor it. I think that's a great, that's a great tool in itself. Because that way you get to set the gain in real time. And you can hear if you need to turn it up or if you need to turn it down in real time. There's no like post that you have to do. This is just on the fly. Let me know if this is something that you would use for like podcasting or even streaming. It's all digital content. I, I'm i sure that if I put this on a stand, like a base, that I would be able to use it anywhere I go. This one's kind of a little bit bigger to do that. They offer other microphones that aren't as big but like i said this is marketed for podcasters and i think this would be a great microphone if you did want to start podcasting it's real easy to use it's very user friendly i literally just unplugged my other mic plug this mic in let me know what you guys think of the sound quality of this microphone i think it sounds great i think the price point is right i think it looks great it should fit into your setup I don't know if you're going to do like a podcast setup, if you're going to do a streaming setup. I don't know if it's going to be used for both. Some people use it for both. I think it sounds great regardless of what you're going to use it for. I think the white really stands out. It looks really nice. I like, I like the white. It makes me think that I want to like a white, do like a whole white setup. I don't know why white lately has been like, it's been more expensive as well, but that's beside the point. It looks great. It functions well, user-friendly, within a, a great budget. If you're looking for a podcast, streaming microphone, voiceover, stuff like that, take a look at the Fine Fine K688. Uh, I know, microphones have weird names. Regardless, Fine Fine does a great job with audio mics and even their headset. I use their headset all the time. I still have it. You'll see me on stream using them, the Fine Fine headset. They're my go-to headset. I normally don't use, like, uh, corded headsets but these feel so comfortable the cord actually does not get in the way for a first for me but this has been the fine fine k688 sounds great looks great budget friendly anyway guys thank you for joining me i gotta go because my back hurts <laughs>